Hello, and welcome back to CS11. This is lab number two. Today I'd like to talk about two problems I selected from uh, chapter one exercises. And uh, you should definitely uh, complete these and feel uh, good about your um, solutions before you start working uh, into chapter two. Uh, the first problem is this one here uh, from the end of chapter one, uh, P1-10. Write a program that prints a house that looks exactly like the following. All right. So in order to do that, of course, we're going to need to um, write a program. So let me remind you, pound include. Um, oh, let me see. I got a typo there. IO stream. I'll have to fix that. Now, um, notice that here my uh, text editor is um, showing that these are both problems. Now, in a C++ program, uh, IO stream here is correct, but this here isn't. I spelled include badly. Now why are they both flagged? Well, I haven't yet saved my file as .cpp, so my text editor here doesn't realize yet that I'm writing a C++ program. Let me go ahead and save this. I'll select Save, and let's call this lab-p1.10.cpp, um, and I'll go ahead and save this, and Let's see if it fixes that. Well, bam, text editor. Well, this is still wrong. I n c l include, and I'll hit enter. I o stream. Well, I got that right. Well, okay. It's a budget editor. All right, using namespace standard. That's right. It's free, so I guess I can't complain. Int main, uh, and. Um, we talked previously about braces. Um, notice that um, I typed them in a pair. And even though this is a very simple, going to be a simple program, uh, I didn't type my program from the top down. And um, I suggest this is a best uh, coding practice. Whenever you're doing things that match, like opening and closing braces, um, parentheses, um, and later we'll use even square brackets, um, that you often want to code from the outside in rather than the top down. Um, this will help you um, avoid uh, the confusion that can come in when we start um, nesting several many things together, many layers at once. Okay, so um, just a good habit to begin with. All right, and then we know we need to say um, return zero at the end. And now we're ready to write the rest of our program. So in order to do this, we'll need to code a series of lines. And um, one approach would be to um, uh, figure this out on a piece of paper, exactly how many characters um, we need to do. And another process would be um, to have some uh, trial and error. Oh, interesting. Notice it's picking that up as an error, too. Um, maybe this text editor doesn't like my dot there. Let's try doing a save as. Save as. It's a legal character, but maybe I should say p1 underscore 10. Let's see if that makes it any happier. No, I guess not. Okay, well gosh, something's going on here. Why is this highlighted in pink? It's almost as if it thinks the string um, isn't, um, hasn't been ended. And notice what I'm trying to do here is print the very top here of the house. And what we see here is that what if we had a space there? Aha! Notice now it doesn't think that's part of the string. What difference did having a space versus not having a space there? Well, the answer to that is in um, chapter one. Make sure you read it carefully. Um, it's a very important point. I won't tell you now. I won't spoil the suspense um, if you haven't already seen that. Um, so uh, do, do please uh, um, finish off chapter one. We'll talk about that, um, what's going on there later on. And now I can proceed to um, do additional commands to write out the rest of my house. Okay, now let's look at one other problem um, that um, from, is also from chapter one, and this is a nice problem. And in order to do this, you're going to need to put some commands in your uh, program that we haven't talked about yet. Um, 
And this is going to be a process that's going to continue for some time where we try out commands, sometimes with not very much information about them, um, in order to practice and, and, and learn from them. And there's not really any way to avoid that. We just have to jump right in. And so in this particular program, you're going to um, uh, write a program that prints out a message, hello, my name is Hal. Then it's going to ask the user what their name is. This is going to be our very first program that gets some input. The user is going to type in their name. And then this program is going to write back and include your name uh, in its output. So this is a great uh, practice um, um, exercise. It gives you the pieces here that you need. And it's uh, going to be a nice preview of some things that we're going to develop in Chapter 2. Okay, so I do recommend that you do um, both of these exercises. It is, you know, that's our lab exercise for this particular um, um, lecture. And um, if you have any questions or problems as you're working on those exercises, make sure to post in our um, discussion group. Okay, that's it. Thank you.